Hi folks, in this video, we will introduce the concept of orchestration on Nebula Director. Agenda is pretty simple. We will introduce the concept, talk about composite orchestrations, and we'll do some demos. We believe we have a great cloud solution that scales. We have zero-touch installs, fine-grained permissions that enhance collaboration, and per-user and per-customer quotas. We have a solid stack with networking, storage, and security features. We provide account management and bursting into public clouds like EC2. We also enable multi-site clouds with Nimbula Director. Our cloud solution has a bunch of features. We can model them as cloud objects. For example, instances, storage, networking, security, as well as third-party cloud services, all of them can be modeled as objects in the cloud. Let's introduce the concept of orchestration. Take any cloud object, add policies, for example, HA. We can add a unique label to identify that object. We can add different kinds of objects. We can add policies as well as labels to each one of them. We can define relationships between different kinds of objects. For example, A depends on B and C depends on B as well. We can group objects of the same type and call it an O plan. The entire thing is an orchestration. An orchestration can have other orchestration objects as well. A single orchestration can drive other orchestrations. These are called as composite orchestrations. To explain them better, I have the next slide. A master orchestration can drive other orchestrations, which in turn can drive other sub-orchestrations, which in turn can drive real objects. It's a chaining effect. The first demo is about a simple orchestration. In this demo, we will talk about how to do a simple orchestration. This orchestration deals with a single instance. An orchestration can be described in JSON format. In this case, we have a JSON file. It describes a simple object with a label and an HA policy. An orchestration can be added by just giving the Nimula API command. An added orchestration is just saving an orchestration with the status of stopped. To actually orchestrate it, you need to give a start command. When an orchestration is started, the status of the orchestration keeps changing, denoting the state. And the instance is launched and orchestration has gone into ready state. We will go ahead and delete the object created by the orchestration simulating a real world failure. What we expect our orchestration to do is to detect this failure and relaunch this instance to honor our HA policy. The status of an orchestration has gone to error. The errors denote exactly the instance that has died and what is the next step that we are taking that is relaunching. The HA policy was honored and instance has gone into ready state. You can stop an orchestration by just giving the Nimula API stop orchestration command. That will bring the orchestration to its stopped state. To summarize what we saw in this demo is we added a simple orchestration with a single instance. We started the orchestration and we stopped an orchestration. 
We can completely remove the orchestration from the system by giving the delete orchestration command. Now we will demonstrate multi-site orchestration. In this demo, we will orchestrate one instance in the private cloud and one in the public cloud. Our orchestration is described in a JSON file. As you can see, it consists of two O plans. The first O plan describes an instance to be launched in the private cloud. The next O plan describes an instance to be launched in the public cloud with the site being EC2. As you can see, we have specified a relationship where public cloud instance depends upon the private cloud instance, which means public cloud instance would not launch till my private cloud instance is in running state. As step one, let's add the orchestration. When an orchestration is added, it's in stopped state. The orchestration can be started by giving the start command. The status of the orchestration is in starting state. With our first O plan, which is the private cloud instance, is in starting state. And our public cloud instance is in stopped state. That is because of the relationship we have specified. A public cloud instance depends upon our private cloud instance. As soon as our private cloud instance is ready, our public cloud instance will go into starting state. And once both the O plans are in ready state, will the overall status of the orchestration become ready. This was a simple example where we, from within the same orchestration, we launched two instances, one in the private cloud and one in the public cloud. To stop the whole orchestration, all we have to do is give the stop orchestration command. That would go ahead and delete our instances in the private as well as the public cloud. And the orchestration comes to a stopped state. In this final demo, we will demonstrate composite orchestrations. We have a security orchestration that will drive security objects, a DNS orchestration that manages DNS objects, and an instances orchestration that deals with two web servers and a DB server. And we have a master orchestration that will drive security DNS as well as instances sub-orchestration. This is just an example. You can orchestrate any other cloud objects like NAT, storage, in a private or public cloud. Let's take a look at our security orchestration. It consists of two sec lists for the web server and the DB server. And we have a sec rule that establishes a rule between web server and the DB server. We will add the orchestration to our site. Our DNS orchestration consists of creation of a DNS zone and reserving two DNS names, one for our web server and the other one for our DB server. Orchestration that deals with instances consists of two instances which are the web server. They have been given the same DNS name so that we DNS round robin between them and it consists of a DB server as well. Master orchestration consists of three sub-orchestrations. It consists of the security, sub-orchestration, DNS, and instances. Now let's list all the orchestration in our system. They are all in stopped state. All we have to do is start the master orchestration and it will drive the whole hierarchy. As you can see, master orchestration is in starting state. After the instances are launched, it will change its state to ready. As you can see, the master orchestration is in ready state now. Thus, we have driven a whole hierarchy of objects using a single orchestration. We can tear down the whole hierarchy by just stopping the master orchestration.
As you can see, all the orchestrations are in stopped state. Thanks folks. In this video, we introduced the concept of orchestration on Nimbula Director with a few demos. Watch out for more exciting stuff from Nimbula.